Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Sean with another Tesla video and in this one I'm continuing my journey and investigation into the lifetime of a Tesla battery. Now, this is different from degradation. This is how long will a Tesla battery last? How long can you drive it before it goes kaputs? I recently came across a Twitter handle that was compiling the most driven Teslas across the globe and it got me thinking I wonder if any of these people have had to go through a battery replacement similar to the process that I'm going through currently. So I compiled a list, I reached out to everyone that I could and knew how to reach out, and I've compiled the data on number one, how many miles have they driven, have they replaced their battery, and at what point on the odometer, as well as some other interesting insight like have they had to replace any of the drive units, and what is the typical state of charge they charge to on a daily basis. This will be part one of a two-part series where I dive deep into what other Tesla owners have experienced in terms of how long their battery lasts. This one will focus on some of the most driven cars. And then what I'll do for the second video is scale it back a bit and just look at overall Tesla ownership and how long those batteries last, regardless of whether it's got high mileage or not. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified when I publish part two of this investigation into the lifespan of a Tesla battery. So the first thing I'll say off the top is this is not an exhaustive list of high mileage Teslas. This is just what I had access to, to glean from. These are 12 owners, including myself. And because the X has not been around for as long as the S has, you'll see that this is primarily a list of the Model S. So there's a few things that strike me as I look at this information here. Number one is just because the Tesla is high mileage doesn't mean that it needs to be replaced or will need to be replaced. I think it's interesting that Tesloop's Dewey, the Model X, has traveled 300,000 miles on its original battery. The other thing that strikes me about this information is that almost consistently across the board, at least one motor in these vehicles has been replaced at some point. Now we didn't take the time to get specific information on at what point these drive units have been replaced. The more important thing for me for this video was at what mileage or at what point did these batteries need to be replaced? I wonder though, with these 90 kilowatt hour battery packs, if they're made to be a little bit more durable. One of the other things that I was really interested in determining was how charging to 100% impacted the lifespan of the battery. And as you can see on the right hand side, I couldn't really find any trends because with the exception of myself, the only people who were charging to 100% was Andrew. And the two that said that they did charge to 80% coincidentally or not, have not needed to replace their battery. Now they also have two of the lowest mileage cars in this group, so I'm not quite ready to extrapolate the 80% with not having to replace the battery just yet. So the question I'd love to ask you, those who are watching this, do you think that the newer batteries, let's say 90 kilowatt hour and larger, have a different chemistry or a different design that allow those battery packs to last a lot longer? One of the other things I'll just kind of add to this discussion is in an article that I recently read on Inside EVs where they talked about the different design of the battery pack in the Model 3 versus the S and the X and how the Model 3 should do a far better job at moderating temperature and reducing that wear on the battery pack at high temperatures whenever it's going high speeds or when it's super charging. Sound off in the comments down below and let me know what you think. And there's a second video where I'll analyze hundreds of Tesla owners who have had to replace their battery and see if I can extrapolate any additional insight into what the lifespan of a Tesla battery pack is. Thanks so much for watching this video and see you in the next one.